Hello and uh, welcome. My name is Waylon Lewis. I guess you know that if you're tuning in for this. All right, uh, let's begin with a moment of meditation. Don't worry, it's not going to be the emergency. You're just going to find a way to ground. All of you are in the middle of your day or the beginning of your day or the end of your day. So it's nice to find a uh, just a very simple moment to connect with the present moment, which is where we can actually learn something and change our lives. All right, take a good posture, best posture you've had all day. If you're feeling agitated, curious, excited, blessed, uh, just take a good breath. This again is not some hippie thing, it's just simply touching in with your humanity, your life. Often we can go days of being speedy and kind of mindless without really touching in with what's actually happening. So take a good posture, your eyes are open, that's important. This is the Buddhist practice of strengthening your mind, stabilizing it in the present moment called shamatha. Eyes open, hands can be open on your thighs. Take a good breath, not a profound breath, just a normal breath. And with respect and friendliness, let's all bow to one another. Find your breath, just breathe in and out. If you're not breathing in and out, that could be an emergency. So just breathe in and out and it's okay to be bored. Life can be boring, and running away from boredom creates all kinds of problems. If you find yourself distracted, which many of us are, just notice that and return your attention gently to your breath. Okay, it's not too painful, hopefully. Uh, we start with a moment of meditation, a start we start with a moment of appreciation, bowing to one another with respect, because mindfulness has to be the foundation of what we're doing. And by mindfulness, I don't mean some like trendy yoga thing. I mean being present and being harnessed, yoked, like in yoga, yoked to our mission, our um, desire to be a benefit. From a from an elephant point of view, that makes everything more fun. When you wake up in the morning, you're excited to work hard no matter how hard or challenging yesterday was. You're excited to get up because your intention, your life's mission is yoked to your work. And we talk a lot about right livelihood. There's nothing more talk about boring or conflicty or whatever than not feeling in harmony with your work. Does anyone know that feeling? Is it more important to be great at social media or to be, um, uh, successful writer or a successful business person, whatever your business is. What's more important? Is it more important to be good at whatever you're doing or to be good at talking about it, good at sharing it beyond the choir? I'm gonna come back to that question. I think the question in some ways, as long as you're bringing some curiosity to it, is more important than saying one or the other or both. Too often, people talk about social media who have 13 followers on Twitter who don't really know about it. So social media right now, is it a force for good in the world? Is it a force for bad? How do you feel about social media? Without just saying good or bad, how do you feel about it? When I say social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, how do you feel about it? Right now, it's definitely, I think in the last couple of years, it's really become clear that it's having a toxic effect on our, our world. From a mission-driven point of view, we can use social media instead of being used by it. To bring it back to your livelihood, I wrote a book. Has anyone heard of the book I wrote? I wrote a book called Things I Would Like to Do With You. It's about modern love, relationships, loneliness, all that good stuff. And I didn't, I wanted to publish an eco book, meaning most books are plastic coated. So and I wanted to control the edits and I wanted to control the cover. Um, so I works with Elephant Living. And using social media, Kickstarter, Facebook, um, et cetera, Instagram, I've been able to sell this book. It's the best selling book locally in Boulder for the last two years. None of this is about me or my book, so don't worry about that. 
the point is like Chance the Rapper or whomever, now is an exciting time. If you use social media, you can publish independently. You can do your, or if you're not a writer, you can be a plumber, you can be a yoga teacher, it doesn't matter. You can use social media to enrich, to bring abundance, to bring success, to bring money, your ability to pay the bills, which is one fifth of right livelihood, right? Pay the bills, do what you love, do what you're good at, do what's a benefit, um, and pay the bills. So you can be successful using social media um, to communicate with people because remember the social and social media. Social is just about connecting with people. But that's what we teach in, in Elephant Academy. 